Hey, what's up guys? Can anyone hear us? Sorry, we had trouble getting into the meeting. I think it did. That's why that's why we yeah, we had to join it differently this time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah good. So now we have uh, YouTube and Zoom. Is it on live right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, YouTube, YouTube Live is going right now, too. Okay. Hello, guys. Sorry. Okay. So, guys, today we, we plan to to work in a close guard. Okay, we're working some like some some guard concept. Just to show you guys that we don't just know how to pass guard. <laughs> we know some some close guard too. Julio, how are you? Oh, Julio's watching the YouTube. Yeah, yeah let's work. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so so guys. Let's work here, guys. If somebody has uh, uh, any question, let me know, okay? So, once I have a close guard, I like close guard a lot because uh, I'm not like that fast when, when I'm on bottom. So, I like close guard, but in Jiu Jitsu sport, it's very hard to break the opponent's posture, okay? So, I, I need to use my legs and I need to use my arms. But normally, if, if I put my hand in his collar, he's gonna start pushing my leg, okay? That's why a lot of people have a, have a problem to, to keep the guard closed. So, one, one, so once I have a closed guard, I talk about this in class a lot before, but, but today's in life, uh, I like to always hold both sleeves up for my opponent because I, as soon as I let his sleeve to go to the collar, he can start pushing my leg. So, so right now I need to, to tap between like uh, uh, try to break his posture or just try to survive with my guard close. So right here guys, I like to hold both sleeves. If I want to let go one, one sleep to go to the collar, I need to move my hip. Once I move my hip and my hand is going to his collar, I'm going to bring my knee toward me. Try to push my knee right now. Right now you don't have the leverage to push my knee anymore because my knee. When, when my back is flat, my knee is facing out. He has all, all this leverage to push, okay? So if, if you guys want to let go the right side, make sure the right knee is facing in, it's not out, okay? Just like when, when you take the back, it's gonna be the same concept. If, if the knee is out, you can have a lot of problem to keep the opponent on the, on the back control. So right here, got one, once I move my hip, now I can go to the corner. Of course, he, uh, uh, I'm still having the arm on my chest to so don't let me break his force. But right now I have to give him this one arm only. So I, look, I don't want to break his force like, like this. One reason is, uh, uh, if, if my head is not behind his neck, I don't gonna be able to twist his spine to bring him down. If I control guys in the same line of my opponent's shoulder, I don't have strength, okay, to break this portion. But I can swing my hand in. Once I swing, now, now I can break the portion. So the back arm, right now I'm not worrying about uh, uh, for him like to start like pushing my knee anymore. And then the front arm, I can do just like swing my hand in. And then right now I can bring him. Once I bring him, now I can put my hand deep inside his collar and right now I can break his, uh, break his portion. Again, if my back is flat, my knee is out. So make sure you hold both lips. If I'm doing this, I'm gonna use a lot of strength. Just like I said guys in the, in the previous lesson, 
Like uh, sometimes you can make things work, not because you're efficient, but because you have more strength than your opponent. Okay, so don't mean it's right. So right here, got that control, move my hip to the side, go to the front. He still can push my, 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 my back that you don't have to bring it forward. So if you look at this, I use this time to swing my hand, then right now I go there. So this one, one thing that I use, when I uh, when I take my uh, when I close the guard on my opponent, this is gonna be the same thing when I take his back. Can I take it back, please? When I have my knees out, okay. Look, I have like weak side and then a strong side. The weak side is the one under my my opponent's arm. The strong side is the one over. This one I can attack. This one is gonna be easy for him, okay, to escape. The reason is I need to control shoulder line and then I need to control hip line. This side, I don't have control of his shoulder line. This side right here, that's why I like to call this the weak side. So on my weak side, I need to close my knee in. Once I close in, it's gonna be hard for him to come to this side. If, if my knee's out, it's gonna be easy for him to come. He's gonna have more leverage. So right here, look, I need close right here. So once I get here, pull my clothes. Try to go, please. Right now it's hard for him. The other side, I'm controlling the shoulder line. I'm okay. Okay, so, so the concept of, of shoulder line and then hip line is still for, for any other position, guys. So if you guys have a good control, it's gonna be much easier to suit your opponent. You wanna say something, please? Uh, no, bro. Okay, so, so, this is what happened. Once I want to pass my opponent's guard, I need to think about shoulder and hip. Once I want to escape, I need to think about escape, one of those, those things. So if he take my back right here, if he take my back, I need to, the reason I want to come to the same side of my opponent have the arm under my arm is because he look, he can move. The other side, come back please. If I go to the other side, He's walking this side here. So it's gonna be much harder for me to escape when his arm is over my my shoulder. Alright, so so make sure guys, you guys always think about if you are controlling your your opponent, make sure you control hip and shoulder. If you try to escape, make sure you leave like one free, like hip or shoulder. Always your opponent is gonna be able to to control one. Okay, it's gonna be hard for you to to release both, but don't let him control both. So this is gonna be very easy for you to be able to, to escape or, or to control your opponent. So just use this, this concept. Um, you've talked a lot about, so not ever letting the opponent get you into a bad position. So you wanna be proactive, like you said, you know, use your knee to block them from being able to go that side. But if you get to the point Talk to him about if you get to your back on this side on the weak side first, mm -hmm. what can I do as an attacker to then try to stop you from being able to? Defend? Yes, you have to, to to make a friend on this side right now. Yes, right. You see, if you want to stay right here, you're not gonna be able to go to 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 escape. So so one thing is in the shoulder lines blocking the shoulder. Yes, yes, you can block the shoulder. If I escape my head, boom. You don't have this anymore. You can bring this, this leg to this side. Yeah, even if you don't cross, you just keep right here, please. Mm -hmm. Look, it's very hard for me right now. If you keep right here, look, they're gonna be able to escape. So right here, look. I just see. Can I come to this side, please? Look, if I come to his weak side, I have the door open on my shoulder. So if he wants to close the door, boom, he make this. If I escape my hip, I have the door open. If you want to close the door, boom, you put the leg right here. Now look, he, yes, he locked everything again. So I want you to open the door so, so I can't leave, you understand? So again, you're then coming back to controlling the hip and the shoulder line. And then once shoulder, again. Always, uh, if, if I want to escape, I need to make sure you don't control like shoulder or hip. If I want to control, I need to, to be able to, to hold both. So, Escape is much easier because you just worry about one. Control, you have to worry about you. Yeah. You understand? So attack is very hard. 
I see a lot of people come to this position, they lose, they lose this battle first, he gets to his back, and then they try to switch and pull this arm out mm -hmm. to then come back here. You yeah. know? I just see that not working because as soon as this arm gets disengaged, your back yeah. is flat. Oh, right, yeah. So you need to block the shoulder from the same strong side that you have and yes. make this a new strong side. Yeah, so right. Table gripping like, yeah. here, this is pretty uncomfortable. You also set up arm bars in this yes. position, right? Yes. No problem. Like, uh, the reason I built this game to, to like, uh, I'm able to, to escape, to don't get sweep too easy, is because I started like very young and I was competing like ab absolute, I was like very skinny guy. Right now in the quarantine, I'm like 212, uh, <laughs> very heavy, but for a long time I was like featherweight, light feather. So, and compete absolute, so I had to move. If I don't move, the big guy's gonna hold me. So, so one thing developed on my game was like, like move around the strength. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I tried to figure out the hold so I can go in without fight with my opponents. Today I have weight, I have strength, but I still have the same mentality of go around and don't use strength. And uh, I can feel when, when I start the fight, if I feel my, my opponent use the strength standing or on the ground, I let him use the strength just for him can, can be tired and then I can start my game because if I go right away, he has like full strength and then it's gonna be hard for me. <laughs> Somebody have any question? Oh, somebody. There's a question in chat. Oh, this. Oh, Drew. <laughs> what did he say? Oh, just said us. Yeah. Cool. So. Yeah, yeah. So, so I think that it's very important. You just don't have any, any magic formula. Everyone have your your game dependent in the how you start your jitsu and the how you see your jitsu. So like try to apply the techniques like like right and you have to have a concept on your mind. You cannot just start a fight or, or start a role with techniques on your mind only because it's gonna everything move too fast. If you stop to think about technique, you're gonna miss the technique. You understand? So have a concept what you want and then from there you you can start the fight or you can start the the role. But you need to have a concept. Another uh, one thing that I don't agree is uh, like, like when I say, I like to pass guard, and people when they see some some student of mine who don't like to to pass guard, they say, "Hey man, you're not representing the gym because you don't like to pass guard." They say, "Look, this doesn't matter. You don't need to do what I do. You need to. Uh, everybody have a different way to see jujitsu. You understand? And uh, my goal here is, is to." It should make people understand and then like clear a little bit more their, their mind and then help you guys in, in your guys' game, all right? So, so right here, guys, if I'm on top, please can you... The reason close guard is very powerful is because he has a lot of connection right here, okay? He has a connection around my hip with his legs. Plus the arms, okay? So, so right here, guys, the close guard is very powerful. So, so one thing that I that I need to do as soon as I get here, Professor Drew, he was talking about this in his last lesson. Who engage first, okay? I do this a lot, guys, in, in standing. If I start in standing, I need you fight to make the first grip. Once I make the first grip, I'm gonna make you walk, and then I'm gonna take you down. If you make the first grip, you're gonna make me walk, and then you're gonna be able to take me down. So. So sometimes when, when you guys see like two black girls fighting, sometimes it's very boring in the beginning because both do like they do, uh, they want you, they want you make the, the first grip. If they make the first grip, they're gonna engage this sequence. Okay, so right here, once I get here, I don't let him move the hip, you understand? I don't let him get the angles. So God in Jiu Jitsu, he has six, six angles to take, uh, to sweep me or to sweep me. Uh, if you guys are in a competition and you, and you don't know your opponent's game, don't worry about just just think about the angles. If he don't get the angle 100%, he's not going to be able, uh, able to apply any technique. So he guys, I don't let him move the hip. Boom, I get it. My knees, I need to pinch his, his hip. One reason, if my knees wide, it's going to be easy to 
for him to break my portion. And then I need to, to use my arm right here. If I have a lot of weight, if I have a lot of uh, uh, weight on my hand, it's going to be easy for him to cross my arm. Once he cross my arm, he's going to be able to break me. So he look, this hand right here, he just don't let him sit up. But it's not, it's not to support my weight. That's why if my knee is wide, he's going to be able to fight and then I'm going to have to use weight on my hand. Once I use the weight on my hand, I open the possibility of him move my arm side to side. If my toes on the ground, I'm automatically leaning forward. So he got let me help him. So put like a put like a like a feet flat and then pinch your knees right here. Pinch your knees on the on your point here. Once I get here, I need to face him to the same side that I want to go. If I want to go to the left, I have to face him to the left side. Right here. So so I pinch and then I move my hip to the side. If I'm here, bring me forward, please. He can fight. If I'm sideways, go. It's gonna be very hard for him. Right here, he has a much more uh, uh, angle on my hip. Right here, again, I give less connection for him. So try to don't give too much connection to your point. Always, if you want to escape, don't give connection. If you want to control, create a connection. That's why. Full mountain back deck in the International Federation, you're gonna get like four points because you have connection to the, 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 the lower body and upper body. So he goes, Oh, I make this connection, I, I don't give connection for him, and then I can start open. Always, I like to try to open the guy on the knees. Most of the time, he's gonna try to control my sleeve. Once he control my sleeve, I go around, now I can stand up. The reason I do this is because. The street time lock works when my hand pass on my pointing chest line. If it's right here, he's gonna be able to step my hip and then move the hip and then I and then get in. If my hand is if you keep your hand always below your pointing chest line, you don't have a space between your elbow and then your hip. So if you put the hand over there and then I try to go there, boom is when he can step my hip to go. So I put pressure on his leg. I know he's gonna pull my arm. Once he pull my arm, I go around. Now I control to start open his guard. So that's why a lot of people say like uh, open the guard on the knees very hard. But for me, it's very for me it's very important to uh, know this technique because you're gonna use this. You don't get caught in a straight time locking close guard. You know, saying like uh, years ago. Even close guard, they just like uh, they just close the guard and then they put the hands behind the behind the head and then the guy try to stand up. They go there when they go, they expose the arm for the straight time lock. So that's why I like to push the knee. Once I push the knee, my my opponent don't gonna allow me to open the guard. He's gonna pull my hand. Once he pull my hand, I control his arm and then I can stand up. So it's very important to know both situation in. Some, like sometimes I can open a guy because they don't want you to give the arm to me. <coughs> Somebody have any question? Oh, Anthony's online. YouTube have five guys there. <coughs> Yeah. Okay, so so guys, let's work right here. Let me show you guys a, 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 a like once I close the guard on my opponent, I have technique for any kind of reaction of you're gonna have. So so one example, you don't have nothing uh, much to do in like inside of my close guard. So or he's gonna try to open my guard on the knees, or he's gonna try to stand up. So, for this both situation, I'm ready to, to attack him. So, always I keep myself safe. If, if my back is flat, I control both sleeves. If he tries to stand up or, 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 or open the guard on the knees, always I'm going to have something for him. So, right here. If he tries to open the guard on, my, on the knees, right here. So, so, look, as I hold right here, okay? And then I like. Like right now, like he's gonna put the, the, the knee between my head. 
Bro, please? Yes. Once he get here, he's went ahead of time to go. So, so one example. If I want you to, to sweep my 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 opponent, and my opponent tries to open the guard on the knees, I need the weight on the front leg, right here. So I can twist the back leg. Okay? So this is what I look for. If he put the weight on the right stand on the back leg, I'm gonna let him open the guard. He's gonna open the guard, but for him, prevent me to don't close the guard again, he will need to put the knee up. If he put the knee wide, I'm gonna close the guard again. So he, he will need to put the knee between my legs. Okay, so so let's work on this on those situations. So right here. I hold right here. If he put the weight up on the front leg, no please. Boom, I'm gonna sweep it right there. If he put the weight on the back leg, I'm gonna let him open my guard. Once he open the guard, he needs. Okay, so don't let me close the guard again. Once, once this happens, I move my head. Then I sweep him again. So basically this is like a, this is my game. Some people try to try to cross a leg to, to this side because I'm holding this leg uh, this arm right here. I still gonna be able to sweep him. So go please or a heel. I'm gonna use the back leg to push him forward and then lock. If you can like like hook the leg, that's okay. If it's not, just make sure guys you lock right here, look around the knee. Never in the hip. Always like low right here, okay? Is when I can sweep. So because I'm always holding both lips, I'm a, I'm able to to sweep my point. So so when I was young, I was like very like like very skinny, and it was very hard to swim mid from bottom. Always I try to be on top and then take the back and then swim it. So so what I did, I develop a very very good sweep for, for my game. So if I if I was not able to sweep my, my opponent, I was like pulling guard very fast, sweep. Once I'm on top, I was trying to pass the guard. I don't know why people prefer to give four points and, and three. <laughs> they don't let you pass the guard, but they give you back. And then I was able to swim it. So, so in 2007, I competed the Rio de Janeiro State Championship. Division absolute, I was featherweight. I made 13 fights, 11 swim missions. And uh, most of the swimming was from, from the back because people, when they see you pass the guard, they go to position. Go to total position is not a problem. The, uh, the, uh, the problem that I see and I show here before is they don't control open body or lower body before go to total position. They go by themselves. When you go by themselves, I'm able to take it back. If you control open body or lower body, I'm not going to be able to take it back. No, I was gonna say it may be worthwhile with those two sweet variations uh -huh. to show up from the. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 So right you, you do it really well, and I think it's easier to see from the right. So right here, guys, the first one is once you put the knee. Look, guys, you need to come back, please. How I know I will be able to sweep him. This is the front arm. If you put the 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 same side knee first, I know I can sweep him. Once he opened the back leg first, I know I cannot sweep anymore. Okay? So, so right here, guys, you're gonna control one arm forward, one arm back. One leg back, one, one, and the one on the front. Most of people move this knee first, the same side that he's controlling the front corner. When he's doing this, go please. I already placed my elbow on the ground. Now, look, I'm going to bump my hip, going, going to the same direction of his knee is heavy. So right now, I'm going to switch my grip, face my belly down. The reason I do this is because if, if my belly is up, he can fight, okay? Because I'm going to have a weight on his open body. Can that please? Once I switch right here, go please. Right now, look, I have a weight on his open body. And then he cannot come back, okay? Let me just, uh, oh, for this one. Drew, come back. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> The other situation is once you open the back side first, right now I know I cannot sweep, so I didn't even try. 
Okay, so that he can, he's gonna be able to open my leg. So one thing that I cannot allow him is, he's pushing this leg down. He want my knee on the ground, just like close guard and back. He want to put my, uh, he want my knees open. Okay, I need to face my knee to him. So before you open it, lock your knee on the ground. You have to step on the ground and then move your hip. So right now he's not gonna be able to push anymore. If you don't do nothing, just close the guard again. But he will put the front leg up. Once he's doing this, I'm going to move my hip and then put his leg in the same line of, of my neck. Lock. Then I can sweep. If I cannot lock because my, my, my opponent should be where he should have it, no problem. I need I just need the weight on the on the front leg. Always keep the weight on the front leg for you sweep. If you don't want to get sweep, keep the weight on the back leg, please. Right there, okay? So right here, guys, if, if you keep the weight on the back leg, I'm going to move my hip, now push him forward. This one I can go to the other side. So always, if you wanna, if you want to avoid a sweep, keep the weight on the back leg. If you want to, to sweep, put your points weight on the front leg. One example right here, look. Can you lay down, please? Right here, guys, I'm a happy guy. Today, in the, the no deep competition, this happened a lot. Right here. Once the guy get here, Tom is gonna push me forward, then he's gonna push me like both legs on the same side, and then right now he can't attack my leg. Why this happened a lot? It's because the weight is, in, is, is right here, guys, inside. Happy guy. I need to keep the weight outside. If my weight is right here, look, he's gonna be able to twist the back leg. Is when he can catch my leg or, or my foot. As, as soon as we get here, put the weight on the outside, the front leg. Right, guys, on the back leg. Right there. Right now, so the other hip is another situation too. He want the weight on this leg right here, guys, on the front leg, so he's going to be able to twist this. So right here, guys, I had to keep the weight on the back leg over there. Okay? Right now, I can play right here. Boom. This one, I can start, like, play with him. So, always make sure you keep the weight on the on the back leg and have the front leg. Half a guard, I want my opponent on the, uh, keep the weight on the inside leg. He need the weight on the outside leg. When, once the weight on, is on the inside leg, I can sweep. The weight is on the outside leg, I can't attack the arm lock. Arm lock or, or, or monoplata. So right here, look, one example, on the half guard. If the weight is right here, guys, on the inside leg, it's when I can make him lose, lose the bounce to that side. I sweep a lot of people like that. If the weight is on the outside leg, it's when I can start trying to go to the shoulder lock. So, for you guys don't keep like trying techniques and never work, it's important to know uh, when to apply. Just just keep this in mind. If you want to sweep, you need the weight on the front leg so you can sweep the back leg. If you don't want to get sweep, keep the weight on the back leg. Uh, close guard. If you let go of the sleeve, Make sure your knees face in. If I let go the right sleeve, the right knee face in. As soon as you take that back, the weak side is right here, guys, on the, on the right. Make sure the right knee is facing in. If my legs like this, he can just bounce. It. If he is low, go to the, to the weak side, right here. Okay, the weak side right here, you need to, to close the door. He open the door, I close the door right here. If he escape the hook, okay, the bottom hook, close with the top of the hook. So, so you guys are gonna be able to have much better control, and you guys are gonna start like swimming much more. Like, uh, like in the reality, when I, when I roll, I don't like to to swim beat my my training point. I just like to to have control, let go, and then try another situation. I think this is gonna be the best way and the funnest way to train because it's not good. For somebody you keep getting tapped all the time and uh, and they start over so 
So control, you know you have a good control. Let go, let your opponent, let your training partner try something new. All right? Guys, thank you very much. It's already 40 minutes. I'm oh, no, sorry, 90 minutes. Somebody have any questions? Uh, Drew, Duke, Anthony.